I uh, this kata is called most digits. What do we have to do here? Well, we have to create a function that takes a list of numbers and we have to return the number with the most amount of digits. But please note, if two numbers in the list have the same number of digits, we have to return the first one from the list. So let's say that we return the maximum value of the array. That probably won't work. Well, we have some failed test cases. And here you see the reason why. The max value isn't always the first value in the list with the most amount of digits. So we have to make a distinction there. How to go about that? As you can see, we have a max number of 9001, but we have to return 9000. How can we accomplish this? Well, as follows, let's say that we iterate through the list for a number in the list and print the number. Mm -hmm. There we have them. 9000 is the number that we have to return. But how can we make the distinction between 9000 and 9001? Both have four digits, but can we use the length property and pass in a number as an argument to find out how many digits they contain? I believe not. No. There we have drawn because the type of the number is actually an integer. Let me print that out. Yeah. And if we want to have the length property, then we should use a string type. So what we have to do first is to convert the number to a string type. So let me print the number again and the type. And here we are dealing with strings. So if we want to use the length property, we can pass in the number as an argument. And that will return the amount of digits. As you can see, 9000 and 9001 both have four digits, but we have to return 9000. How can we make the differentiation? Well, first of all, we have to set up a condition. If the length of the number is more than, yeah, let's take a starting point. Let's call it the maximum, which is equal to zero or just an empty string because we are working with string types is more than the length of the maximum. Then we have to do something. Instead of the maximum, we assign a new value to the maximum. And it will be equal to the length of the number. Or better said, why should we assign the length of the number? We have to return the number itself. So let's assign the number. That should do the trick. Let's print the maximum. There we have it, 9000. And that's the value that we have to return. Of course, this is a string type. So let's return the maximum here. This is equal to our expected result. I guess not. False. And that's only because this is a string type, but we can convert it to an integer type with the integer function, which takes the maximum as an argument. And then we get there. Well, let's take this attempt. And there we go. I hope you learned something from this and that it has been useful. I'll thank you for watching and hope to see you in another video.